How's it going guys? My name is TJP. Welcome back to another NBA 2K24, my NBA video here. And today we got another one. Is a, I put a player in a zoo of our league and they break the NBA. We got ourselves a suggestion from Seamus Gavinaugh. So Seamus said, Tony Snell. And I said, we'll put him on the list. So appreciate it. Appreciate the idea. Now, I will say this. He was not in the game. Uh, so... Uh, I had to download something from 2K Share, and I adjusted the overalls and a little bit of his tendencies, but nothing too crazy. Try to make like a prime Tony Snell. So, yeah. Anyways, so he is on the G League affiliate of the Celtics, so I put him on that team. And yeah, so that's why we're using the Celtics. So leave a like, subscribe, and join the content, and comment down below some videos. Wherever socials play the second channel, main channel down in the description. If you like other content from me, TJP. See how well Tony Snell does. Let's go to the game. All right, here we are. And as per usual, one season, we're not uh, having any injuries on. So this is Tony Snell. As you can see, he's 22, but he's actually not. I uh, should have adjusted his age, but it's not a big deal. It's one season, 74 overall. And I slightly gave him better overalls, uh, plus five on everything. And then also I boosted his shot tendency just a little bit. Nothing too crazy. <clears throat> so yeah, as you can see, He's not by far the best player in the league. I mean, I guess if G-Leaguers get signed, then, you know, yeah, he wouldn't be. But right now, obviously, in a 40 overall league, whenever he's 40 overall in the NBA roster, you know, then he's pretty good. So we'll see how he does. We're going to game plan it. He's getting 46 minutes. First game against the Knicks. We sim through date, and we win 104 to 28. Best game of the year for Tony Snell, 25.79 rebounds, 6 assists. I mean, that's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. <clears throat> and uh, one thing about Tony Snell that if you guys were watching I believe it was on inside the NBA and this might be why this was suggested I I assume was um, Tony Snell uh, he has got like two kids with autism I believe because I think he has it um, and obviously you know having to take care of two kids with disability is expensive and <clears throat> uh, one thing that Charles Barkley had mentioned was that um, you know some uh, NBA roster should pick him up because he doesn't qualify for the ten-year veteran uh, to get like free health care for life? I believe I think he needs to be in the NBA for ten years or something like that. I, I, there's some kind of uh, clause that they were talking about, but uh, go check it out. You know Charles Barkley advocating Tony Snell to get signed. I don't think he ended up getting signed on a team. <clears throat> I mean, I guess the NBA can make a go exception to the rule because uh, I think he was close to 10 years of service, but not there yet. Um, but obviously, you know, he still, I don't know if he's going to retire or not. Anyway, I mean, if he plays like four more years, if he, you know, I'm sure in the next few seasons he could theoretically make it. But I mean, he is a role player at best. On his best, he's my, my I'm honestly probably bench warm now, but you know, I guess if an, a roster wanted to pick him up, somebody could. But <clears throat> anyways, I, I'm assuming that's why this this was suggested, but I don't know. If, I don't know when you know based on the comment. If it was as of my recording, it's like seven days ago the comment was made. So maybe that was like Barkley had said that already. Uh, by the time it's out, it would have been more than a week for sure. So there's that. Um, and yeah, so that that's where we're at here with it. And yeah, 20 games left in season 62 now. Doing our thing out there. We got a lot of guys suggesting uh, players to me, so I appreciate it. <clears throat> if, uh, you know, like I said, if there's a player that's not in the game, I'll let you guys know in the comments. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I'm going to try to do my best to you know, get as much as I can done. I can't assure you guys, I can't confirm that I'll do every single idea, but I'll try to do as much as I can. I think we have done almost every idea up to this point, though, that everybody has suggested, so I appreciate it. Of course, we got an MVP, Tony Snell. Did his thing out there. Good job. I think, who did I put him over? I think I put him over Sam Hauser. So that's why the career stats are like that. <clears throat> and what did we got? 62 points. That's pretty good. 62 points. That is his career high. Career had 23 point attempts. He had nine three-pointers in a game that's pretty impressive i guess that's when he scored 62 points he had 10 assists he had four steals four blocks okay not bad the game he scored 62 was this game 
but they had 115. I did see that game. I was thinking, oh, maybe he had a good game, and he did. He had some pretty high rebounding games as well. Of course, he's going to win the Defensive Player of the Year, and he also wins Rookie of the Year, apparently. Okay, maybe it wasn't Sam Hauser that I replaced. Was he a shooting guard? I don't know. Well, he was Rookie of the Year. Uh, Tony Snell, six man uh, defense review as well. <clears throat> Joe Mazzulla, JP Farrell. Yeah, Tony Snell's going to be all NBA, all defensive, and he's also all rookie in this uh, scenario, so that's pretty cool. Um, all right. And yeah, the Celtics, obviously, all 82 games won. We're going to see how well they do in the playoffs. They got the Wizards in the first round. Wizards are always really good in the sim, but I don't think in this sim they're going to be very good. And uh, I don't know if anybody got picked up. And yeah, I think it's just a Tony Snell world. Yeah, I don't see Portland. I mean, Portland got the seven seed, but they lost. So chance okay, are nobody got signed with Portland, which is pretty cool. And it looks like we're going to sweep here in the second round and advance to the conference finals to take on Chicago. Game one's a victory. Game two is a victory. Game three is a victory. And we sweep. And we're in the finals to take on the Nuggets. Tony Snell in the playoffs. Uh, the conference finals, at least. 48.8 points, 110.5 rebounds. So great stuff there from him. So far in the playoffs, anything impressive? Let's see. In the playoffs, he had a 67-point game against Brooklyn. So that's pretty good. All right. All right. Here are the Nuggets. Game one is a win, 77 to 32. We'll view the box score. He had 40, uh, he had 38 points, 119 rebounds. Okay. Game two is 108 to 35. Again, view the box score, 39 points, 120 rebounds, eight assists. We're gonna win game three here, 68 to 31. My assumption is he did not have as great of a game, but he probably, you know, 32 points, 99 rebounds, pretty solid. And then, yep, game four, we're doing the sim cast, and we're gonna hop on and watch the championship celebration. Because we are going to win game, uh, win this game. So, great first half, uh, really good third quarter, and surprisingly, this is a very high-scoring game for a for a simcast. You usually don't get this high of a game. So yeah, with the minute left, let's hop on it. 96 to 18. All right. So Tony's now taking the ball out. Uh, we're just going to throw it in. We're going to get our boy Tony Snell a, a shot. He's got 42 points. And he's going to make it 44. 44 points, 120 rebounds, and 7 assists. I know it doesn't really look like Tony Snell, but again, you know, it was a 2K share, creative player. Uh, unfortunately, it was not a game. I thought maybe he'd be on the G League. But when I searched, he was not there. So that is why uh, you see what you see. We'll just let Jokic shoot because he's going to miss. Because he's bad at basketball in this world. Let's see a Tony Snell... We'll pick. That is not going in. Okay, I tried. I tried to do a little fadeaway shot. And yeah, with 18 seconds and Peyton Pritchard. Charge! That's a charge? Wow. I did not think I was going to draw that. That is insane. Okay. Well, uh, he's off the court now, but that's fine. I'm going to try to hit a shot with one of these guys. See if Jalen Brown can do something. Let's see, get a screen maybe. No way. Thought I could hit it. All right, and we win the game. So there you go, the boys win. Championship celebration. Who will be celebrating with us? I'm gonna say Jokic. Is he on the court? No, Reggie Jackson. Okay. Didn't realize it. But there they are celebrating. Okay, I didn't. I don't know who I replaced. I have no idea. I forgot who I replaced. I thought I replaced Sam Hauser, but I guess maybe I didn't. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Won the championship. There's Tony running up and down the court. As you can see, they always get the final MVP, correct? Uh, there's Peyton Pritchard <laughs> voicing up the trophy. That's pretty cool to see. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't understand it, but, uh, you have Justin Holiday is your finals MVP, I guess. Is that Justin Holiday? 
for Aaron Holiday. That is Justin Holiday. Okay, that's what I thought. Cool. Uh, box score, how do we do? Tony Snell, you see there, excellent. He's going to win the finals MVP, actually. I mean, makes sense, considering he put up the best numbers. And as you can see, he did. We already saw the box score. So I guess with that all being said, let's go to the full screen and close out this video. All right, hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, comment down below some more videos. We have our socials play the second channel, main channel, down below in the description. If you do like it, the content from me, TJP, I know I said that really fast. Because most people skip to this point, don't even watch. So, please watch. All right, guys, I'm heading out. Take care, everybody. We'll see you soon. Suggest more ideas. I'll try to get to them. Peace.